Cindy out here with my Arts Endeavors. How are we doing today? I'm doing pretty good. We are here today to work on our ABCs for chronic pain. And uh, let's see. We are on N. Let's see what we have for our N words today. I love this little book. It's just so much fun. Yeah, I'm still drinking my coffee. I haven't quite finished that yet. Um, so we're going to work on ends. I, I want to show you guys this. This is just a book. I got this, I think, in a Barnes & Noble on like one of their clearance sections. And this is just origami paper. This is the only one I've ever found. I wish I could find more. I'll have to go online and look. But I love using this paper because, number one, it's so thin. I kind of like that. I don't know why, but I do that. Just talk to me. Um, the paper is so thin that... It's just great, great, great collage paper. So, we're going to start out with our ends today. And what words do we have? We have numb, nuisance, nauseating, nagging, and needy. Wow. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Let's see. Where's my glue? Where's my glue stick? All right. So, numb. Yeah. Um just recently I went underwent a treatment uh, for my fibromyalgia uh, it didn't go well <laughs> um, basically what it was is they were trying to do um, they were gonna do a dry needling and um, I'm gonna leave the top of this because I want to paint the top of it um, they tried to do a dry needling and what they call is myofasci myofascial release um, which basically is like a really, really deep tissue massage. Um, yeah, it didn't go well. So, <laughs> all of those words, almost all of those words, what do we have? Numb, nuisance, nausea, yeah, they all, they all pretty much said what happened. Um, within a few hours, and still, I still, these three fingers are still numb, which is really weird. They feel really strange. Um, but I had a lot of problems with my left arm. It was just uncontrollably throbbing. Um, they tried to do some myofascial release in my lower back. That was a huge, huge, huge mistake. Um, I felt like I just came out of back surgery. I ended up in bed for three days and, um, on quite a few painkillers because it was just so intense. Um... So yeah, you know, even though we, we I, you know, I'm trying to get treatment, I'm trying to feel better, and yeah, that did not work. And let me tell you, it's really discouraging. It's it's really hard to, I love that, isn't that cool? <laughs> um, it's really discouraging when, you know, you're just trying to get help, and, and, but anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. Um, I like this cream what's some of this cream so yeah numb um there's a lot of different parts of my body that like to go numb um my left foot is basically numb it's 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 just non-existent i'm gonna flip this over and use this um so numb is a huge one uh, i have a lot of numbness in my feet um, and it's getting now, so it's not just my left foot. My right foot happens to do it also. Um, nauseating, you know, the pain. When when you're in so much pain, you, you just feel bleh. And part of that bleh is honestly just nauseating. It's it's difficult. It's, it's hard. You know, I wonder if I want to do this on the other side. No, I don't think so. I love that paper, though. All right, let's find another sheet. So, um... You know, um, nauseating, you can even get sick from your medication. Um, there's so many different kinds of things that um, can make you nauseous. Sometimes the pain makes you nauseous. nauseous. Um, you know, there's other things. Oh, I like that. Let's use this one. Oh, that's cool. I love these. Instant backgrounds. Ta-da! Um, but yeah, you know, sometimes... I'll eat food and when I eat I just I completely feel nauseous and I think part of it has to do with the pain 
And, you know, I get up in the morning, for example, um, I get up in the morning, my husband loves to get up in the morning, he loves his breakfast. Okay, I'm all good with that. I think about eating something in the morning and I just plain get nauseous. So, yeah, morning is not a, I'm not a breakfast person at all. Give me breakfast about mm, 10, 11, 12 o'clock, I'm good. But first thing in the morning, not a good sight. Um, nagging. You know that pain that just nags and nags and nags and nags? Yeah, that's real. It happens. Um, we've all dealt with it. It, it doesn't stop. Um, it just, just keeps going, and it's so difficult to deal with. And, you know, I think that's the type of pain, too, that just plays on your mind. Oops. Um, you know, it plays on your mind all day. You just, you get so tired of it. And, you know, that's where a lot of the frustration comes in. That's where a lot of the, oh, I just can't do this anymore comes in. Um, I'm going to use white. What else do I have here? Nagging. <laughs> That nagging pain, we know that. Um, needy. You know, there's times when, you know, like, for example, over the weekend, because pretty much I was in bed the entire weekend due to this wonderful treatment that was done um, in so much pain, and yet, you know, my husband, he's like, okay, I, I, you know, I'm going to go do this. Are you all set? Do you need anything? And, you know, I may need something or I may want something, but I'm like, no, I'm good. Because I don't feel, I, you know, I feel like not so much nagging him. I just feel like I'm a pain in the ass. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm saying it, you know, just the way it is. And I hate that. I hate that feeling. I hate you know, him having to constantly run and get this, run and get that. So I'll just, I'll do without. I'm like, you yeah, know, I'm good. I'm good. You know, and, um, you know, I don't consider it nagging, but I, it's that neediness. You know, well, I need this and I need that. And no, I'm good. I'll just deal with what I got and, you know, deal with what I'm doing. So, but, um, you know, it happens and, and, you know, they do their best to take care of us. But we still have to, at times, feel needy, right? Just wanted to dry that up really quick because um, it was feeling awful wet with that glue and the paint. All right, so give me a second. I got to figure out what I'm going to do with this, and I'll be right back. So I think I have an idea of what I'm going to do with these today. So let's work on them. All right. So yeah, we've got, I'm trying to think of other N words. Um, numbness. I don't know how to get rid of this numbness in these fingers. I, I, I don't know. I got to talk to them. I have to go to the pool today. So um, when I go, I'm actually going to talk to the pool therapist and let her know what happened on Friday and hopefully get a chance to talk to the guy that worked on me on Friday and say, hey, we need to figure this out because, yeah. So anyways, um, all right, I'm kind of doing these both sides together, so... It's okay. All right, so we're going to talk about our, and we're going to do our bad words. Now, I just pulled out some stuff out of my stash. I have this little deck of cards. I think this is, yeah, this is a Tim Holtz. Um, and it's just numbers and letters. And so anyways, I went in here and I pulled out the end. I thought that would look kind of cool on this page. And then, come on. I'm surprised I don't just throw these back in the bucket. I'm surprised they're still in their box. <laughs> All right. So, and then this is just a piece of punchella that I've got so many of them, I decided to start using this one in my art. Here's my N. This is a piece of drywall tape. Um, and this is packing. Isn't this cool? Uh, a friend of mine actually ordered some something from Walmart, and she started pulling them out. I'm like, oh, what is that? She was like, packing? Well, guess what? It came home with me. So, 
I really like this. I think it's kind of cool. So we're just going to put our end words. And then I found this. This is just a piece of paper. We're going to write our words on here. So let's do that now. Pen. All right. So we've got num. And sorry about my handwriting. I'm not the neatest handwriter, which is fine. Um, we have nuisance. Um, and then we have nauseating. And then we have nagging. And I'm just going to tear these up like that to put on here. And then what's our last one is needy. All right. So here's our words. We're going to put those on here. Scraps back in there. Okay. Love this. So let's go ahead and put these pages together. Um, I'm going to start out with this. I just, I kind of want this on here. I'm going to use tacky glue for this because um, I want to make sure that it stays. So I'm just going to go through and put some tacky glue on parts of it parts and bits and pieces of it. Just kind of like this. Let's do it right here. How cool is that? And then I want a little bit of this. I don't like this one straight edge, so we're going to move that out of the way. Just gonna stick some of this on here. It also help kind of hold down that packing. I like it. And a little piece of this pinchella. my sticky fingers. I'm going to take this one and put it right here. It's just going to hold down that. Alright. I like it. Now I have my N, which we need to do something with this. Let's get some of that. Yeah, that's better. We're going to add our N to the page. Trying to think, can you guys think of some other um, words? Uh, another one, needling. Sometimes it feels like your your paint is just needling into your. Look at that, that's cool. All right, now I think I'm gonna have to do the same thing with these. Just kind of make them a little bit. Oh, come on, where's my paint? There it is. Kind of take some of that stark whiteness out of them. Yeah. All right, so. All right, I'll be right back. I gotta shut some music off. Hold on. All right, sorry about that, guys. All right, so here we go. We're gonna put our letter, our words down. And like I said, we've got these are the bad N words. We have needy. We have nagging. down here. We have numb. And all I did is I added a little bit of that cream color paint to these just so that they weren't all stark white. Then we have nuisance. Let's put our nuisance right here. Then we have nauseating. 
And let's put that right here. Actually, I'm going to use that one on tacky glue on this one because I want it to be able to stay. So let's use some tacky glue. And there's our nauseating. Now, I was looking at this and I thought, ooh, I gotta have some kind of metal on here. So I went in my drawer and I found these little um, gears. I think these are kind of cool. So these are gonna go on our end tag. I'm just gonna stick one right there. I'm gonna take a small one. I hope this tacky glue holds these there. And then we're gonna take this bigger one and this one is going to go right here. Alright, now I'm going to let this dry up a little bit because we need to do the other side and I don't want this stuff falling off. So as soon as this dries a little bit, we'll come back and we'll do our back side. Alright, so we're going to talk about our good words in a minute. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I'm sitting here and I was thinking about, hmm, what am I going to do on this side? And I looked at my words. Now, the good words for my N are notice, navigate, nourish. Yeah, nourish. What the heck is that word? Nourish. <laughs> nourish. You nourish your body. <laughs> coming up with words that's the fibro brain I apologize that's the fibro fog um, and then nurse okay and I'm sure there's other ones um, but right now my brain's not thinking so anyways I was looking at my words and they all seem to be something that you kind of grow um, you have to learn how to notice what your body's saying you have to learn how to navigate your pain um, when your body starts saying ha, 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 you have to learn how to navigate that and say okay well I got three more minutes or five more minutes or ten more minutes and I've got to stop so learning how to navigate that pain is is something that's really really essential when you're living in chronic pain because if you don't navigate it you're gonna be in trouble and in trouble meaning intense pain, extreme pain, um, a lot of downtime, um, pain relief. You have to learn, you know, how to, to get your pain to calm down. So navigating to me is huge. Um, nourishing, I, I'll be the first one to admit this. I tend to um, not eat well when I'm in a lot of pain and my husband yells at me for it. So that's something I'm working on is trying to nourish my body because I know my body needs more than a protein bar um, when I'm in pain. So, and then nurse, nurse yourself back to health. But so when I was sitting here looking at those words, I thought, you know, it, it, for some reason it just reminded me of flowers. So what I did is I went in my bin. I have a little bin that has all these flowers. Now these are ones that I have drawn and colored. Um, there's times at night I will like to sit down just with a book. Um, it could be a dictionary. It could be an old storybook, whatever. And I'll just sit and I'll doodle flowers. And then I just um, use either Tombow's or... Um, elegant writers or something like that and then I'll just kind of color them in and just I'll use them in my art so these are just some of those and I while I was thinking while I was looking at those words I was thinking hmm you know these are all like we have to kind of grow so I decided that's what we're going to do we're going to grow with these words this is a stamp from Gina Aaron's and um, it comes in one of her stamp sets definitely check out her Etsy shop uh, it's Gina B and then Aaron's A H R E N S. So check that out. She has some really cool stamp sets. Um, so we're gonna put that. I just kind of like that. I thought that was kind of cool. So we're gonna put that there. And then I decided I'm gonna have my flowers growing. Now, flowers, as you know, don't have to be. Um, they don't have to be all flowery like, right? We can we're we're in mixed media. We can do flowers however we feel like doing flowers. They can be square. They can be round. They can be um, triangle. You make them however you want to make your flowers, right? 
There's my flowers. I like my flowers. So what we're going to do, um, first thing I'm going to do is draw. There's my pencil. Let's use a pencil for this. I just want to see how I can do this. We're going to make them come out here. And my flowers. Right now I'm just kind of giving myself like this little template so I know what I'm doing. Alright. And then I'm just going to draw it. Just with a marker. Just kind of put some... Uh, let's see. Just flowers that are going to come up out of there. You know what? I wonder if I should get some smaller ones because this one looks more like it goes there, right? These are kind of too big. That one could go there. Little bit, little bit biggity. There's one. That'll work. This one can go right here. Yeah, we got to put some dots or something on this one, though. All right, so yeah, those are our words. Um, notice, I know it's really hard at times to um, want to stop whatever we're doing. Um, I know I myself like to overdo it. I think it's just in my personality. Um, you know, if I do something, I don't do it 10%. I don't do it, you know, 50%. I do it 100%. And that seems to be the same way in my life. I mean, if I go shopping, I don't want to hit one store. I want to hit five stores. If, you know, I do a video, I don't want to do a video. I want to do five videos. So that's all just part of, um, you know, learning how to notice when, hey, enough's enough. You know, you really need to stop. You need to give it a break. You need to take a break. And it's difficult, but you have to do it when you live in chronic pain. Because if you don't, you suffer. And like I said, I, you know, I, I pay for play. And, you know, I do. Um, and I think we all do. You know as well as I do. If you have your grandkids over and you, you just love those babies and you start lifting them, picking them up and doing and doing and doing, you're going to be hurting by the time you're done. And... Is it worth it? In the end, <laughs> yes and no. Um, those grandbabies can curl up on the couch with you just as easy as you picking them up and swinging them around. And that's something I had to learn as well, especially with my granddaughter. It's like, okay, you know, um, grandma needs to take a break. Come on up. Let's sit down and let's, you know, play iPad or whatever watch a movie or whatever the case may be so you know it's all part of that noticing you have to notice when it's time and you have to take note you, ha you have to make changes you know like we talked about you have to navigate that pain navigate the chronic pain um, you know nourish your body like I said I'm I'm the first one to admit that when I'm in pain I don't I don't take care of my body I don't eat the way I should. Um, I tend to just survive on protein bars and, and you know, a bowl of cereal uh, because it's easy and convenient. Is it, does it help? No. No, my body can't live on that. And neither can yours. I need some green. Let's find some green. Where's my markers? Right here. Take some green here and put some green on here for our leaves. Oops. All right. And then I want to take my white. Now let's do it black instead. Okay. And then, um, you know, last but not least is to nurse your body. And sometimes you've got to do it. You've got to nurse it back to health. And is it fun? Absolutely not. Um, is it necessary? Absolutely. Because if we don't do it, if we don't take care of ourselves, who's going to do it for us? You know? Um, and one of the things I like to say is treat yourself the way you would treat your best friend. 
You know, if your best friend was in a lot of pain and could only do one store, would you expect her to do five stores while you're out and about? Would you expect her to, um, you know, lug all the all the packages? Would you, what what would you expect out of your best friend if she was in that type of pain? Okay, so it's the same with us. Um, let's see, I want to put on here notice. I put on nurse, notice, navigate, nourish, and that's the only ones I have, but like I said, um, I think that's cute, isn't that cute? And then here's our backside. All right, I've got some strings out here. We're going to add to it. So anyways, I'd love to see your words. I can't see, you know, I can't wait to see what you come up with. And your tags. Show me your tags because that's really cool. When I get to see um, you guys, you know, creating along with me. And it doesn't have to be this week. It can be next week or the week after. Um, whenever you feel up to creating your tags and joining me, I would love to see what you do. So, um... I hope you guys have enjoyed this week as always, and if you have any questions, comments, um, leave them down below in the video. And as always, uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe, right? And what do I always say? Don't forget to have fun. I mean, how fun would life be without it, you know? Have fun, that's what life's all about. So here we go. Our bad words our good words, and I will see you guys again next week. Have fun. That's what life's all about, and happy creating. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.